So what came first, the chicken or the egg? It's a pretty simple question to answer dear viewers. At first, there was an egg. Out of this egg, a chicken hatched. See, pretty simple, right? If there was no egg, then there would be no chicken. But wait a second, where did that egg come from? A chicken must have laid that egg. No chicken, no egg. Ah! Even back in the good old days, people struggled to answer this question. Aristotle, who lived in the 3rd century BC, tried to figure out which came first and came to the conclusion that both must have existed. More than 2000 years later, we now know better. Thankfully, today, with the evolution of science, there is no need to keep brooding over this forever. This is a riddle we can unscramble with the tools of science, more specifically the principles of evolutionary biology. In today's video, we will finally solve this puzzle and make things clear or worse. There are two ways to look for an answer. One is to understand how cells and reproduction works within cells. If I start on that, you may start to throw rotten eggs at me. It is just complicated. So we will take an easier route to understand this better. For this, we would have to go back to evolution. You all know that all animals that we see today had common ancestors. There was a common ancestor for humans and apes and so did the chicken. But it was not a chicken in the real sense. So simply put, this chicken-like chicken laid some chicken-like eggs from which other chicken-like chickens hatched. Confused? Don't worry, I will explain. Let us first look at eggs in a bit of a detail. Eggs are found throughout the animal kingdom. Even dinosaurs laid eggs as you would have seen in Jurassic Park. But we didn't have chickens then. Technically speaking, an egg is simply the membrane-bound vessel inside which an embryo can grow and develop until it can survive on its own. These first came on the scene with the evolution of the first amniotes many millions of years ago. Prior to their arrival, most animals relied on water for reproduction, laying their eggs in ponds and other moist environments so that the eggs didn't dry out. At some point, a different kind of egg began to evolve. It started adding extra layers of membranes which ended up providing a conveniently enclosed all-in-one life support system. These eggs are called amniotic eggs. They opened up a whole new world of opportunities for land-based egg-laying locations and the extra membranes paved the way for bigger and mostly better eggs. We are still not sure of exactly when this happened, largely because eggy membranes don't make very good fossils. This leaves the scientist with no clear record of when or how amniotic eggs developed. Our best guess is that the last common ancestor of both tetrapods, which are four-limbed animals with a backbone, and the amniotes, which are four-legged animals with a backbone that lay eggs, lived around 370 to 340 million years ago. Today's mammals, reptiles and birds are all descendants of the first amniotes. So we can say that the eggs came first, but we still didn't have chickens. So we need to rephrase our question to which came first, the chicken or the chicken egg? as we now know that an egg came first. Now let us come to chicken. If you have concentrated on your biology class while your teacher taught you evolution, you would know that along every generation of species, mutations and changes may occur in the DNA of that species. 
the very first chicken in existence would have been the result of a genetic mutation or mutations taking place in a zygote produced by two almost chickens also called as proto chickens this means two proto chickens mated combining their dna together to form the first cell of the very first chicken somewhere along the line genetic mutations occurred in that very first cell and those mutations copied themselves into every other body cell as the chicken embryo grew the result our first real chicken that hatched from a non chicken egg over a long period these mutations got passed on from generation to generation until we had a long line of chicken which all laid eggs the first true chicken is said to have been formed some 58 million years ago so who were the likely parents of this first true chicken the red jungle fowl or gallus gallus is native to a range of southeastern asian countries including india southern china malaysia singapore and indonesia it is thought that this red jungle fowl was domesticated by humans in asia and went on to be spread around the world as the less aggressive and prolific egg layers that we know and love today as gallus gallus domesticus british scientist from the sheffield university found new evidence that chickens must have existed first this claim came from the researchers who were studying how chicken eggshells form eggshell is mostly made from calcium carbonate hence get their supply of calcium for eggshell production from dietary sources which are fed to them in the chicken farms to form a shell the calcium needs to be deposited in the form of calcium carbonate crystals and hence rely on specific proteins that enable this process one such protein called ovuloctin 17 or oc17 for short is only found in the ovary of a chicken now without oc17 there can be no chicken egg formation ovuloctin 17 turns calcium carbonate into calcite crystals a molecule that makes up the eggshell without this protein the chickens would not be able to produce eggs therefore chickens must have come first since the protein is needed to build the eggshell so can we lay this age old puzzle to rest now for people who don't understand or believe in evolution and couldn't make out a thing from our video we have a simpler solution a boy once asked his dad the same question the dad replied it was a chicken the boy not satisfied asked for an explanation and the dad opened the dictionary and showed him that the chicken which starts with the c did indeed come before the egg but after 30 videos by pale blue thoughts we are all people with scientific temper aren't we so eggs certainly came before chickens but chicken eggs did not and all evidence provided by evolutionary biologists suggest that the chicken came before the chicken egg it is actually elementary my dear watson